Hello, what's up everybody, Ethan the Super Mario fan here, and today I'm going to be testing out my Sony DVD player that I got today. So I'm only going to be testing three DVDs because four or five DVDs will take too much time. Oh, hold on, I gotta open the door because the cat is out for some reason. Oh, sorry about that. So anyways... I don't know how that cat got out there, out there, but anyways, I just closed the door. I thought I did. Anyways, I changed the 4x3 output to normal because I like it when it's, when the bars show on the left and right on full screen content. Just like a, like an Xbox or PlayStation. So anyways, I'm only going to be testing out three DVDs. So anyways, the DVDs I'm only testing are the Super Mario Brothers movie because I love Mario so much. Sonic the Hedgehog 2, or should I say Sonic the Hedgehog, da. And Goosebumps, even though it's not October anymore, I can still use that DVD. So anyways, we're gonna, first we're gonna be testing out the Super Mario Brothers movie, which has the Universal 2012 logo on there, and it's the Power Up Edition. And by the way, the standard DVD version doesn't come until later this week. And by the way, I don't know why the disc is red, but who cares? So anyways, here's the Universal 2012 logo. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. So anyways, here's the Universal 2012 logo, but on my Sony DVD player. This time... The thing is in 4x3, but it could still be in 16x9, though. Hmm. And I apologize for the thing being low. So, yeah, it's on my previous video. As you can see, it's still in 16x9, but the 4x3 output's in normal instead of full, because I changed it. Sorry about that, guys. I had to clear my throat. Sorry if I'm not talking that usually I talk because I just like just woke up like minutes ago. It looks like the quality's a little bit bad, so I might have to change the screen resolution in the next video when next time you see it. And the screen resolution might be a little bit higher. But anyways, that was the Universal 2012 logo, but on the Sony DVD player. Next up, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Or should I say Sonic the Hedgehog? Duh! <laughs> Very funny. And yeah, the reason why I had to pick this DVD because the Knuckles series comes out on April 26th and Sonic 3 movie comes out on December 20th. So hope you guys are excited for that. So anyways, it has the Paramount Pictures logo on it. No Paramount DVD logo because they stopped doing that in like 2018 or 2019. I don't know why the disc is born gray, but who cares? So anyways, I'll be showing you the Paramount DVD logo, but on the Sony DVD player. No, no, sorry, Paramount Pictures logo. Sorry about that, guys. I need to be very conscious while speaking. So anyways, here's the Paramount Pictures logo, which is the 20... I think it's like the 2011 slash 2012 Paramount Pictures logo, as you can see on movies. See, as you see, as you can see, it works perfectly. And the frame rate is in 24 FPS. So anyways, that was the Paramount Pictures logo, but on the Sony DVD player. I know it's been a while since I recorded videos in the living room, so, yeah. So now, last but not least, is Goosebumps, which has Jack Black. Same with the voices Bowser in the Mario movie. And yes, he is in this movie as well. And it has the Sony Pictures Home Entertainment logo on it. 
I don't know why the disc is transparent, but who cares? This is actually the first testing video using these three DVDs, so yeah. So anyways, here's the Sony Pictures Home Entertainment logo, but on my Sony DVD player. And I know Blake the Spongebob fan and Spongebob fan 2009 and Landon has a Sony DVD player, but his, but Landon's Sony DVD player looks different. And sorry if it doesn't load quick, because this is not a Sony Blu-ray player, sadly. But I might get a Sony Blu-ray player soon. But for now, I'm going to deal with the DVD player. And I apologize for the thing being low. So anyways, that was the Sony Pictures Home Entertainment logo. But on my Sony DVD player... And that's pretty much it. So anyways, I hope you have enjoyed this video of testing out my DVDs on my brand new Sony Blu- No, no, Sony DVD player. I might get a Sony Blu-ray player soon. But for now, I'm going to deal with this one. So anyways... If you have enjoyed this testing video, make sure to give the like on the video, comment, share my video, subscribe if you're new, and click the notification bell icon so you'll get notified when I post more content in the near future. So until then, peace out.